Wedding Etiquette for Guests When you're invited to a wedding a party, there are certain responsibilities and rules of behavior you need to be aware of. While some of these rules are pretty much obvious, it still won't hurt if you go the extra mile of learning some of the do's and don'ts while attending a wedding. Fancy an ongoing supply of tips on marriage, useful wedding etiquette, wedding planning advice, and engagement ideas? It's too easy. Just take a quick moment to subscribe and click the bell icon. I promise, you'll surely never miss out again. To answer your wedding guest etiquette woes, here is a rundown of things that you should do and should not do. Take RSVP seriously. Wedding invitations usually indicate a deadline on doing RSVP. Do RSVP as soon as you can and never treat it lightly. Unless stated, don't bring a date. If the invitation only has your name on it, it means you alone are expected to come to the wedding. Also, don't call the bride to ask about bringing a date to the wedding. Remember that if their budget can accommodate it, they would have extended the extra guest invitation. Arrive on time. While it is a known fact that weddings tend to run late, it doesn't mean that you can also arrive late. Do try to get to the ceremony at least 20 to 30 minutes early. Be mindful of the dress code. Always take note of what's stated in the invitation about the dress code. If you're still unsure, you may ask the bride directly. Don't come too casual for the wedding even if the dress code says so. Always wear a skirt, dress, or suit. Stay away from wearing white. Whatever you do, never ever wear white when going to a wedding. You don't want to outshine the bride who is expected to wear a white wedding dress. At times however, the bride chooses a different color for a wedding gown such as red. One story says that the bride has firmly instructed her guests that no one should come to her wedding wearing red. If a guest does so, she wouldn't be granted permission to attend. Just remember, don't wear white or any color that's identical to the bride's wedding dress. Don't be a photobomber. Wedding photographers need to capture the life-changing moments at a wedding. Always pay attention and avoid being a photobomber. Do your wedding gift shopping early. Marrying couples spend a great deal of time in choosing the items on a gift registry. This is because they plan to use those items. Do them a favor by buying from the registry. Give your gift a more personal touch by buying it early while the selection is still huge. Otherwise, you may find yourself settling with the dish towel, chopping board and can opener combo. Turn off your phone or keep it in mute. You don't want to interrupt the couple's wedding vows with a sudden ringtone outburst of your phone. No matter how cute you think your ringtone sounds, just turn off your phone or keep it in mute or vibrate mode. Congratulate the couple's parents. Make an extra effort to reach out to the couple's parents and extend a greeting of congratulations. Introduce yourself, express your thanks, and tell them how enjoyable the wedding is. Do have a great time and party. Many couples have the unreasonable fear that their guests are not enjoying their time at the reception. Let them know that they're wrong in their thinking by hitting the dance floor, talking and mingling with other guests, and smiling. Sign your name in the guest book. Although many people think that this is outdated, signing your name in the guest book is still a great gesture that the newlyweds will appreciate. Oftentimes, the wedding and everyone who has attended are a big blur for the couple. A guest book will somehow make them remember everyone who made it to their big day. Keep your conversation short. It's okay to say hello to the bride and groom but remember to keep the conversation short. Allow them to continue making their rounds with the other guests. Also, make the conversation positive and light. Don't think about complaining on anything such as the awful weather, the bad traffic, and more. They simply don't have to hear any of it. There you have it. If there's anything you'd like to add or share, let us know by hitting the comment box below. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you in the next video.